Ukraine's Magura V-5 naval drones will surprise the Russians more. New attacks are being prepared. The Magura V-5 maritime unmanned platform is a truly formidable weapon that primarily destroys the enemy fleet. Representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Andrew Yusov, said this during the telethon. It is a multi-mission platform that is used most famously loudly and spectacularly as a maritime attack drone, but it can also be a reconnaissance platform, evacuation platform and can be used for other purposes, he noted. According to Yusov, if we talk about hitting various targets including stationary ones, then these are always complex measures. We are not talking about using only one weapon. This is a separate plan, idea, operation. We will not disclose it, but we have seen how the Magura V5 successfully destroyed, for example, large landing ships, he emphasized. The intelligence representative added that everyone can see how the technologies and skills of the operators of the special unit of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Group 13, are developing. When booms in particular are already broken through and then the next drone hits the target, these are all tactics that are being improved and the enemy will be very surprised many times. Yusuf said, In May, the representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Andrey Yusuf, noted that with the help of multi-purpose surface unmanned drones, it was possible to cause $500 million in damage to the Russian fleet. According to him, the secret of the Ukrainian maritime drone Magura lies in the skill of Ukrainian manufacturers who managed to create a unique means of destroying not only the enemy fleet but also the weapons and personnel on board the ships at the time of their destruction. The representative of the main intelligence directorate added that the process of improving the Magura V-5 marine drone is constantly underway. Ukraine's using World War II-style fighter jets to down Russian drones on the battlefield is a humiliating blow to Vladimir Putin's war efforts. Dramatic footage taken from a Russian drone in April and circulated in media shows a Ukrainian Cold War-era propeller-driven plane named Yak-52s hunting it down in the sky above southern Ukraine. The footage showing Ukraine's Yak-52 plane in an intense dogfight with a Russian drone is reminiscent of World War II scenes. Retired commander of Royal Air Force, Air Marshal Greg Bagwell told The Sun that Ukraine has taken inspiration from British single-seat fighter aircraft named Spitfires in fighting Russian troops in the skies. Bagwell said using WW-2 style Yak-52 is an inexpensive and safe way of defending Ukraine's skies against Russian drones. We are seeing a rebirth of air power back from 1914 and 1940s. The reason we are seeing this is because these Russian drones are quite a nuisance for Ukraine, the retired air marshal said, adding that these aircraft and plenty and cheap. But they fly in relatively predictable profiles so they're quite vulnerable and fragile. Manufactured in the 1970s, the two-seat aircraft have been deployed by Ukrainian troops to track down Russian drones. The video published in social media, shows the co-pilot look up at the drone before shooting it down. In a separate video, Ukraine's vintage plane, named the Drone Hunter, can be seen circling Russia's Orlan UAV after it took damage from a direct hit over Ukraine's Odessa city. It should be noted that Ukraine's military have been consistently adapting and improving their aircraft and weaponry since Russia launched full-scale invasion of the country back in 2022. Russians are cancelling reservations and packing their bags in Crimea after Ukrainian missile strikes. After Sunday's explosions in the Sevastopol area, vacationers are fleeing occupied Crimea, tourists are refusing travel permits and cancelling hotel reservations. Although the authorities are trying to hide it, it is already known that the beaches on the peninsula have been emptied. Even those who rested here under the free program go. Ukrainian Obzorevitel media outlet reports this. It is noted that on Sunday near the beach of Utievka in Sevastopol, Russian air defense shot down a missile. Its wreckage flew to the beach where vacationers were at that time. As a result, dozens of people were injured and four died. 
as expected the occupiers accused Ukraine and the USA of shelling peaceful vacationers. The Crimean Authority has always assured that vacationing on the peninsula is safe even during a full-scale war. She said that they don't shoot here. And if something explodes, it's far away, somewhere near military facilities. Now, according to the members of the Association of Tour Operators, tourists are refusing the tours. However, even now, tour operators note the refusal of permits is allegedly isolated. At the same time, the so-called Ministry of Economic Development of Crimea urged market participants not to find those who decided to cancel their vacation on the peninsula. Already, all bookings have been stopped. People are calling and saying, that's it, they won't come, return the deposit. But not all hosts will return their money. They will hope to the last that time will pass, everything will calm down and people will come. Well, not in Krasnodar, where else should they go? The prices are high there and the beaches are crowded says Yevhen, who rents out housing in Crimea. The Russian mass media spread information that there are allegedly no queues of cars on the Crimean bridge towards Russia. Therefore, in their opinion, no one was afraid of anything. Everyone stayed to rest under rocket attacks. In fact, the majority of Crimean vacationers are budget workers who came here by train. Some state employees, frightened by the explosions in Sevastopol, rushed home. They packed their suitcases already on Sunday. They were persuaded, told that everything is calm in Feodosia, but they still went to the station to Simferopol. The road to both ends was paid for by the state. Now they will either change the return tickets or they will buy, says a worker at one of the sanatoriums in Feodosia.